So basically ROVs are, you know, the most important tool for the subsea project. Without an ROV, there's no project. So we decided to be innovative and um, to create a, a technological uh, system uh, where we add a lot of features um, for this ROV tool where we can make things different for our competitors. So in a subsea construction, for example, or in an IMR, inspection, maintenance, repair, or light well intervention, the ROV is the eye of the, the vessel. And that's, that's why the ROV is so, so important today in this world, because the, without an ROV, you obviously can execute some of the important tasks, you know, during a subsea construction, inspection, maintenance, repair, and decommissioning and surf and pipeline supply vessels, laying uh, pipes uh, or flexible lines, umbilicals and all that stuff. So that's that's why this tool is extremely important today. And we ended up uh, going for a ceiling report. It's a new series the, known as the UHD system and we decided to go with the most uh, modern equipment in the market, has the highest capability performance-wise and also uh, when it comes to ultra deep water operation. So uh, all our system today in the fleet is uh, UHD for uh, rated for 4,000 meter and uh, 200 uh, horsepower. Basically, we have the majority of our fleet in the Gulf of Mexico with some overseas, uh, overseas assets and working in the North Sea, Africa, and other places around the world. We, we do a multitude of functions, basically. Um, we have you know, manipulators and cameras uh, on, on, on this equipment. Uh, the capabilities are up to 10,000 to 13,000 feet for these UHDs. But the guys are typically working out there 24-7, you know, uh, in support of vessel operations and anything in the oil and gas fields that uh, is required of us. We do see some pretty cool things out there, uh, but the work is very interesting. Uh, the guys who work for us are uh, pretty adaptive moving around, working different parts of the world. Uh, but these guys are putting in a full 12 to 15 hours a day working on, this, on these ROVs and, and diving them. Uh, it's kind of like aircraft preventive maintenance and, and just taking care of the equipment. This is high-end equipment, um, you know, basic hydraulics, mechanics, and uh, electronics all rolled up into one. The equipment that we choose is, is um, it's technically advanced. You know, we, we go with the, uh, the core, the Schilling, Schilling ROV. It's got a lot of, uh, a lot of good features like the, uh, the Ethernet backbone for the uh, telemetry system. Um, the control system is all closed loop, so you have a uh, real finite control of the ROV. Uh, it has a uh, station key feature, which, um, you know, it's like a dynamic positioning feature similar to what the boats have. Uh, so you can, you can basically go push a button, the ROV will just sit there and hover so that the ROV doesn't, the pilots won't have to fly it. So it it's, uh, reduces fatigue, increases efficiency whenever the ROV is not flying around. It's, it's better, better video. Uh, the, the clients tend to like that, as well as the operators. We have 230 technicians offshore, and we work very hard to make sure that we have the best trained technicians in the industry. The time that we spend with our technicians is extremely valuable, as they spend many hours offshore, many weeks offshore. The simulator systems that we have here seem to be a point of fun for the guys. Even though they need many hours of, uh, of operational uh, expertise to be able to achieve their goals, there's nothing more fun than actually putting them into a reality where we provide them with many types of problems that they must overcome, and they have to learn how to make decisions in order to be able to make those um, systems operate properly and to decide what's in the best interest of the client, but most importantly of all is safety. We have a safety management system program um, that we utilize and educate personnel out in the field and also in the office. Uh, more importantly than a program, we have a culture. Um, good safety cultures lead to good safety positive attitudes. 
Uh, being a very independent company um, is a great thing because we teach everybody internal. We are a young company, but a great company and, and our safety record and our safety performance and culture is, is doing very well. More importantly, it doesn't come from the numbers and statistics. It starts with the individual and that's what we really have here at C Innovation.